the meditation of Simon Peter. Amazed? Is that how they tell you I felt? Well, that's one word for it, I suppose. I'd put it differently. Astounded. Flabbergasted. Staggered beyond words. Jesus was dead, remember. His body taken down from the cross and sealed in a tomb. And every one of us has been convinced it was over. Our hopes and dreams lay to rest. Yes, we had seen him raise others, it's true, but that was different. Who could raise him? No point pretending, we thought. Our Lord is gone, and we are on our own. So when the woman came back from the garden, all excitement and confusion, I reacted like the others at first, dismissing their words as idle fantasy. It was only slowly, as they pressed their case, that those words of Jesus came back about dying and rising again, and death itself conquered. Could it be true, I wondered? Surely not. And I was torn between a desire to run and see and an urge to run away. I chose the first, finally. For I had to know, just in case. And incredibly, it was all just as they had said. The stone rolled away, the grave clothes discarded, the tomb empty. He had been dead, no doubt about that. But now, marvellously, gloriously, he was alive. No doubt about that either. Lord, we rejoice in the wonder of this day, the awesome, amazing truth that you rose from the tomb, conquering death and defeating evil. We celebrate your appearing to your disciples and your presence with us now. The way you have walked and talked with your people across all the centuries, kindling faith, sharing love and inspiring service. Receive our joyful praise for all that you have given. Life now and life to come. Amen. <laughs>